everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm back with one more interesting exercise from Python. So yeah, we're gonna do a simple exercise today. It's very interesting. It's a bit interesting and a bit confusing. But all you need to know is just a formula and you also know how to implement that formula here. And that's it. As a programmer, you don't have to know much about the things that you have that you need around you. You just need the formula. You just need the, the way that we can solve the problem and we can implement it by the form of coding like by using the practical stuff of coding so you don't have to worry about the thing if you don't understand all you need to understand is the things that we need to implement in code and the way that we can do it so yeah let's begin so here today in this exercise we're gonna write a program to calculate the investment for 10 years in the future for example you are thinking about an investment and whenever it comes to investment we need two things so the first, we need initial investment, the investment that we are using for investment and the annual rate of the user, like annual rate income of the user. As usual, as we did in the previous exercise, we're going to use eval method. If you don't know the importance of eval method in the previous exercise, I explained about it. If you want, you can, you know, go jump right in there and listen to that, complete that exercises and come back to here so that you can continue the exercises. Right, I'm going to post the link in the description. The first and foremost thing is we need two parameters here. One is initial investment and the other is annual rate of the user. So we need these two things. What are we going to do with these two things? I think you guys are excited. So let's see what are we going to do with these two things. So here we have to follow some tips in order to complete this exercise. So let's let's start. So yeah, let's go through it. So the first we need initial investment. Anyway, don't worry. What is this initial investment? What is this annual rate? If you don't have any idea about those things, uh, according to computer programmers, these two are the inputs from the user. And this is the formula that we are going to implement. And this is the thing that we have to print. So yeah, first get initial investment and second get the annual rate. And these two things, we are going to take these two things as the input. Put. So get the initial investment and get the annual rate and we have to compute the investment for 10 years like how much it would be for 10 years and for that don't worry we have a formula so that is investment equal to investment into annual rate plus one. So you just have to substitute those initial investment and annual rate values in this formula and you just have to print investment. That's pretty straightforward right. Let's do it. Then open your favorite VS Code editor. I think that's my favorite. You guys have your favorite. Okay, open your favorite VS Code editor and start coding with me. So I just created an investment.py file and I'm gonna write code here. So the first and foremost thing is we need two things to do. So yeah, let's do it. So first thing is we need investment as input from the user. So I'm gonna create investment variable and I don't worry about the type of the variable. So in order to do that, I just wanna create input using eval method this saves my time so eval input enter initial investment and the second thing is you need annual rate right annual rate am i right annual rate is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to print annual rate here. Enter annual rate. Yeah, we took two inputs, right? And now we have to implement these two things in this formula. Investment equal to investment into one plus annual rate. Right, let's do it. But the twist is here is one big twist. Like we have to compute the investment for 10 years. How are we going to do that? The thing is we have to substitute those values here, but we need to calculate this investment for 10 years. Simple, we have to use for loop over there and that for loop will be 10 times simple. So I'm gonna use for i in range of 10 because we need 10 years this will be a block i just gonna implement that formula investment equal to investment 
into one plus annual rate. That's it. And after that, now we, we are going to calculate investment for 10 years because we need 10 years investment, right? And now we have to print, right? So just print the value in 10 years is Obviously, that will be investment. The entire value will be stored in the investment. Now save and run it. For example, my initial investment is, for example, 1000 rupees and the rate annual rate percentage is, for example, 2%. And if we calculate that investment for 10 years, we'll get this much. So yeah, it's working. All we need to do is just to take two inputs from the user that is investment and annual rate. In order to calculate the investment for 10 years, we do have a formula that is investment into one plus annual rate. And we, we need it for 10 years. So we're gonna loop the for, for 10 times so that we can get investment for 10 years. And we're gonna print investment. I'll be back in the next video. I'll get back to you with the new interesting simple exercise for beginners so that who can understand the flow of programming in Python, who can learn basics, who can implement them in a good way. And yeah, that's all for today. And if you like the video, then hit that cute little like button. And if you're new to my channel, then subscribe to my channel.